Hi, I'm Nord and this is TLDR Plays, the series where we review games in 5 minutes or less so that you can decide whether they're right for you. Mineko's Night Market is a narrative-driven social sim that celebrates Japanese culture with many, many cats and an aesthetic style that I adore. In the game, you play as Mineko, a curious girl who's just moved to an island at the base of Mount Fugu with her father, an eccentric character with a love of terrible nicknames. Legend has it the island was once a thriving hub for farming, blessed by Nico the Sun Cat. It is said Nico brought good luck to the farmers of the island until one day he disappeared. However, this folktale might just prove more real than anyone anticipated. Mysterious agents have appeared, locking up cats and shutting down parks across the island, seemingly to guard unusual artifacts. Could there be a link between these artifacts and the myth of Nico? The island and Mineko's new home have fallen into disrepair in dire need of a little time, care, and attention. Mineko quickly puts her mind to revitalizing the town, including the night market, a weekly event that takes place every Saturday. In the past, the night market was described as a real highlight on the island, though recently the market has become increasingly run down as attendance has waned. Mineko is encouraged into setting up a stall of her own to sell her wares and help revive the island's prosperity. This is where some of the minigame mechanics come into play, as one of the main objectives is to gather resources, make crafts, and sell these artisanal goods at the market. The art style of this game is utterly charming, with painterly textures and imperfect shapes. It honestly feels like a children's picture book come to life. Every aspect of the aesthetic direction feels intentional, almost akin to gouache painted illustrations, and I couldn't get enough of it. The music is simple yet endearing, with jaunty little tunes that carry you through the game, while gently emphasizing the source inspiration. Overall, the game felt cozy and relaxed, though I will say there were times it did verge on being somewhat overly simplistic in its storyline. As a former teacher and a lifelong fan of cozy games, I personally enjoyed the story and gameplay, though some may not be as fond of the childish direction the dialogue can take at times. That said, I do think the character design is wonderful, with a variety of different personalities you'll encounter throughout your journey. In Mineko's Night Market, there are many fun little games and challenges you'll encounter. Racing cats, performing in plays, solving puzzles and evading agents, the tasks you complete are genuinely adorable. I particularly enjoyed the crafting games, as each minigame felt simple and fun. There's some variation in the games you play based on the intricacy of the craft, but most of these involve a timing-based mechanic which is easy to follow. One thing that does need mentioning is that this game can get a little repetitive at times. You'll have to continually collect resources, assemble crafts, and sell these to raise enough money to explore the island and progress the story, which can sometimes feel a little slow. The illustrative style, gentle music, and adorable character design was enough to carry me through some of the more repetitive tasks, but if you're looking for a quick pace that carries you through the storyline, this probably isn't for you. If you're someone who enjoys relaxing, low-stakes gameplay and picture book aesthetics, then this will likely appeal to you more. For me personally, these tasks felt more like an act of mindfulness, focusing on the task at hand while soaking in the beautiful environments. I've been excited about Mineko's Night Market for a long time, and ultimately I'm very glad I've been able to experience it. While the game has its flaws, I genuinely found myself falling in love with this delightfully crafted world, and I would absolutely recommend it to any cozy gamers out there. Also, a special thanks to the devs for providing us with a key for the game. I truly enjoyed diving in and exploring all it has to offer. Mineko's Night Market is currently out for Steam and Nintendo Switch, and the game is also coming to Xbox and PlayStation, set to release on October 26th. That's all for now, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to keep up with all those indie games out there. Bye!